Hello to all musical beings out there. This is Jalad of MixingMastermind.com where you find your music creations get better and better every day. And I have a new tutorial for you guys. It's quite exciting. I'll be talking about a brand new plugin that just recently came out in the market. And this plugin is, uh, the, is the one that I used to mix a new music cover of Hazel Faith, uh, Sand to Tell Me by Ariana Grande. And um, if you want to check that cover out, please go to the link that I am going to share with you right now. Um, I did a collaboration with Rika who directed this music cover. She is a vlogger and um, Hazel Faith who is a rising star in the industry and she's a singer songwriter so please check the video out and check their uh, channels out there are two amazing people really amazing so thank you guys um what we did was absolutely amazing so um let's go ahead and talk about neutron right now so um i'll just play a little bit uh I'll just play a, a little a little part of the mix right now so, and, and let's uh, start from there. So that mix sounds wonderful. So let me pull up Neutron right now and this is not actually an in-depth tutorial on how to use Neutron. Um, there are a lot of tutorials out there already but I just want to show you that Neutron works wonderful with Mixcraft Pro Studio 7, okay? So this, let's talk about Neutron. So Neutron is a brand new plugin of Isotope. It actually is similar to the interface of Ozone 5 or Ozone 7, 6, 7, okay? Um, it's actually plugins within a plugin. So if you take a look at it, there are five uh, plugins here. There's an equalizer, two compressors, an exciter, and a transient shaper. Uh, this is where you look at uh, when it comes to signal flow, okay? You can rearrange your signal flow wherever you like, okay? Um, it's uh, It can be modified to your liking. So for example, if you wanna uh, put equalizer on the third signal or a transient shaper on the first, so you know what I mean, okay? So it's actually amazing and now it has presets here um so it has different presets on bass drum bus uh guitars keyboards mix bus orchestral post podcast and broadcast synths and vocals right so you can have um, a lot of presets here available to you to have a starting point. Another thing about Neutron is that it has uh, two wonderful, wonderful things that's running on this software. It has Track Assistant and the Masking Meter. Now, uh, let's talk about Track Assistant first. I'm sorry about that. Nothing is being played and it's listening to nothing <laughs> right now. I just... <laughs> Okay, let me just, let me just play something here. <laughs> Next year, Santa tell me if hey. he really cares. Cause I can give it all away if he won't be here. Next year. Alright. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't do that on purpose. All right, so um that's a track assistant. It's actually one of a kind. It's it says on Isotope's website, it's the only one that has this power. The track assistant actually listens to the song and then um, identifies what type of audio it is, like um, neutrino, uh, neutrino mode. So neutrino identifies if it's vocals or if it's a guitar, if it's bass, drums, or clean, or whatever that is. So it identifies, so right now, um, we are on the main vocals and it identified that it's a vocal track. Okay, how amazing it is. Now you can also title the instance for, so for example, I title this main vocals. Why? Because Neutron talks to other Neutrons. Uh, you can actually use Neutron on all tracks that you want. It's actually CPU friendly. And for example, on this instance, 
main vocal is talking to minus one. Minus one is the instrumental. And you can see there are two EQs here. You can see the EQ for main vocals and the EQ for minus one. Why? Because um, we are on the masking meter right now. But before I talk about this, I just want to talk about uh, what Track Assistant it has done earlier. So basically, Track Assistant um, decided to put an EQ to put the EQ like this. So there's an, a, a reduce on 980 and there's a reduce on 3392 hertz, a, a boost of 2 dB on 8501 hertz. I'm sorry, there's a boost on 491 and another boost here around um, on the low shelf around 347 so basically that's how it did okay that's how it decided and then it decided to use a, a single band compressor and another single band compressor and an exciter for their compression this is actually a multi-band compression and um, the, the, the compressor is using a vintage mode and a digital mode as well so new uh, track assistant decided to use a vintage mode and another vintage mode on the second compression okay um one thing about track assistant is whatever the track assistant has decided on it still depends on you okay um it just shows you a starting point it's still your ears that do the mixing okay so don't just be lazy and um click track assistant and there you go that's it no um this actually helps you learn equalization too for example you can also um click learn here let me just play again a part uh, then learn i want to talk about this later okay okay so basically you can do that as well so you see earlier that there's a uh, there's an attenuation that happened on uh, the, on 981 and on 3968 hertz why um it's using dynamic eq what is dynamic eq um dynamic eq is being used when the eq is only applied when the frequencies in that band cross a certain threshold level okay the only time that the eq is being applied is all right it's not being applied all throughout the song okay so that's the reason why when it hits that threshold that's the only time that it reduces that frequency okay so that's dynamic eq unlike the other or the static eq the the equalization is being applied on all throughout the song okay um another thing about this is on the compressor there's also side chain compression okay um, I'm not gonna talk about that. Um, exciter, uh, you can also use four modes. There's retro, tape saturation, tube saturation, and warm. This is also multi-band, so you can use a single band exciter or a multi-band exciter for compression. So, and then there's also the transient shaper, which is bypassed here. And you can uh, use three modes to sharp the medium and the smooth for transient shaping. All right, so that's um, track assistant. Now let's go to mask. I'm gonna, uh, this is where the magic happens. So you can see here, when I played the song earlier, the masking was uh, masking is happening around uh, this part. Okay, so it's telling you this is a visual representation of the EQ. So what Neutron is telling me is that um, the main vocal. Uh, the frequency on this part is masking the instrumentals what i'm gonna do here as i'm playing is i'll do a little bit of tweaking okay but before i do that uh, please bear in mind that what we are aiming for is a reduction on the masking not a total reduction uh, not a total uh, not deleting the masking totally okay uh, it doesn't uh, work that way, okay? It doesn't mean that if you still see a red part here, it means that you're not doing a good job. What it's just telling you is that there's some masking that's happening here, so you just need to attenuate it uh, to the point that there's clarity on the mix. 
as well okay for example if you are uh, mixing drums and bass okay some of the masking that happens on those parts are actually on the low part or on the low uh on the low part of the frequency spectrum which is around here so sometimes they compete with each other and that causes a muddy mix so basically what you need to do is either um whatever you're aiming for if you want to if you want the kicks to really uh to really uh move you uh or if you want the bass to shine so it depends on you so either you do a reduce on the bass or a reduction on the kick okay and here on mask on the masking meter you can actually do it real time do some tweaking on both eqs real time so that's how powerful this plugin is so let's uh play this one if you really cares, Okay, so the masking um, actually is being reduced there. <laughs> I find enjoyable in using Neutron is the inverse link. Okay, when you click inverse link, for example, on this part or this part, if you want to boost it, it actually does a reverse on the other instance of the EQ. Okay, it did a reduction. So if you want to boost here, it does a reverse thing like that so that's how amazing it is that's the masking meter so basically you can check out other tutorials on neutron as well really please go and get this plugin um it actually reduced my mixing time for about a half this is so wonderful this is very powerful so it works in Mixcraft Pro Studio 7. It works great. It made my song great. It sounded awesome. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. So guys, please check the music video out. Um, go to the link of Hazel Faith and Rika. I hope you learned a lot from this lesson and uh, please hit the like button and the subscribe button as well. Thank you very much for um, spending time with me. Have a great day. Cheers.